Okay, so here we go. This is going to be NetBeans 101. So the first thing we want to do is we actually want to open up NetBeans. Like so. Patiently, there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a new project. We're going to do a new HTML, HTML5. We're going to next. Um, project name. Which is called web page nav. It can be anything, but I'm just going to choose the web page nav. Go next, no site template, click on next. Yeah, I don't want any JavaScript stuff in And there we create. Okay, so that's this guy right here. As you can see, it's given us all this information to build with already. This breaks this stuff down. Okay, all right, so now I need to come up with what it is that I will build. So let's go down and I'll take this paint. And I will drag that just onto my screen so you can see it. So from here, we're going to need to build. Let's go this way. Let's go ahead of here. We'll have an image here. Down here in this box, we need to have a couple of columns of text. Yeah, we'll just go with two, two columns of text. Okay, so let's label this. So I'm going to have a D page. I'm going to have a D slider. I'll have a D nav. I'll have a D body. And it contains a D left. So the D page is that one. D slider is that guy. D nav is that guy. D money is that guy. D left is this guy. D right is this guy. And I completely skipped D header. <coughs> okay. Sorry about that. So we're going to make it. Um, we're going to do 1,000 pixels wide, and we're going to go with hmm, 700 pixels on Okay, so let's see. 700 high, the header, let's give it 50, and 50 is so up to 200, hmm, 50, so also that's 250, that leaves me with. 150 pixels there. Okay, so let me show you what that is. So that's 50 here, 150 here, 50 here, 450 this way. Excellent. So now let's change one more color. Uh, where's my text? text. Let's make this um, 700, which makes this go 300. These guys go that way. Excellent. Okay, so that's the design that we're going to be using. So now let me drag it off to the side and I'll start coding up. So the first thing we do is we start here in our um, skeleton. Okay, so our skeleton occurs inside the body. So we start with div ID equals the first one is D page. Okay, everything goes in D page. Okay. Close off. Enter that. Don't forget to the D page. Your comment. Okay? If you forget the comment, it's going to be confusing later on. So everything fits inside this box. So now that we have the head, I'm going to do here, div. Div. ID equals the header. Okay, we'll close the guy off. D 
นะจีนดีที่สุดจีนนะเนี่ย what we have is we have the body that's coming up if I equals this is one times two other um, two other divs Okay, this is d v by d equals d left. Sure, it's basically from the equals the quotes in d left. Not d left. We're going to do d v by d equals d right. Awesome. So this is our skeleton. Okay. So this is our main page. So it's got a primary height, width, and all that type of stuff. And every one of these boxes must fit inside. So now we start doing our style. So we go style type equals text CSS. Okay. So we do the first one. So it's an ID, which means it starts with hash. So we start with D page. Okay. Curly brace. Always make sure to check curly right so you width. Let's spell the word width is 1000 pixels. Height is 700 pixels. Background color, we start with lime. And then we throw in a margin of zero auto. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, what we can do is we can run it this way. Which, as you can see, doesn't always work. That's fine. Just make sure it's saved. Right, so it's all saved anyway, so Control S is saved. Remember that one. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to where this thing is, which is in. Alright, see users, documents, and everything. Okay. So now I'm going to. And it's going. Going to. My documents. Scroll down here to find my NetBeans folder. NetBeans projects. Okay, web page net. Public HTML. There's my index page. So I'm going to double click this guy. Green box. Awesome. Just what we want. So I'll bring this guy up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that in the background so I can just crank it up and down. So I have my green box. Let's just make this a little wider. Next on the list is my idea, is my slider. So that slider. Same deal. Width is 1,000 pixels because we're going from one side to the other side. Height is actually I should have done the head first, but that's right. I can just slide it have it 50 pixels. Background color. I'm just going to see. Okay, I'm going to hash D header. Let's get some pixels. Height was 50. 50 pixels. Background color. Let's get a blue. Let's get a color chooser. Okay, so let's just change. That color there. Okay. So notice we've got words we can use, or we can use the hashtags. Okay, so that's header slider. Do the D nerve. Same deal with width. Width is what? Thousand pixels. The height is fifty pixels. Now we have the background come up. Um, take that one. Okay. Go there. So header, slider, nav. So body is the next one we put in. Normally, what you do is you just check them straight away, but I'm reasonably confident that this is just going to work. Same deal. Side of width is thousand pixels. The height is the leftover, which is four hundred fifty pixels. Okay, and we'll go background, color, 
can't choose her. Mm. Go. That color. Alright, so now we've got that. Do a control S, which saves. Okay, so notice how that went from bold to plain. Now if I come back to my browser here, hit the refresh. There's all my colors. Excellent. Perfect. So, next I've got to do my left and my right. They're the last two. So we go D left. Now the width for this was 300 pixels. So the width here is 300 pixels. The height was 450 pixels. The background color, we will actually change it to those. And because we want it to be next to each other, we want to float on the left. Okay. And we'll do the right now. Same type of deal. The width is actually 700 pixels. The height was 450 pixels. Background color. Uh, we'll give it a dark one. Okay, but if I'm going to do dark, I want to change the color of the text because I was going to put text on that side. And then we'll go to float. The right. Excellent. Okay, so notice bold control S on a Mac it could be command S. Jump in here, refresh, bang. Alright, so now I've got my two colors here. Awesome. So let's have a look. Now, if I make. Do, 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 do. Right. We can do HTML farm, new CSS. Interesting that I can't just make a new folder there. So inside here, so remember how I found that earlier? I'm going to make a new folder. One called CSS, I'm going to make a new folder, I'm going to call this one Pages, and I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm going to call this one Images. Okay, notice how this is just appearing up here as well, automatically. Excellent. So let's just drag that off to the side. Now, inside my CSS, I'm going to get a new cascading style sheet. And let's call this style sheet. Dot CSS. Finish. Excellent. This is a comment. Doesn't always matter if it's there. This is interesting because I haven't seen that before. Normally, we don't have that. But I can understand what it's there for. So we'll just get rid of that. Now, what we can do is we can take all of this. So we control X. We will control V. So that was a copy and a paste. Well, actually, cut and paste. Alright, so now all my styles are here on there. Okay, let's just see if I can just drag and drop this guy in. So, if that's not going to let me do it... Oh, come on, I can change it here. Okay, so let's um, link realm, oops, realm equals... Um, let me check. Um, okay, so real was star sheet. Uh, let's see, ink real star sheet, and now I want so the type is text like CSS, and the source is. Oh, no, this doesn't have much in the way of intelligence, does it? CSS slash. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Let's rename it. Refactor, rename. Just take it down there. All right, so it's just got the one CSS. CSS slash style sheet dot CSS. And close off. All right, so control S, so it's saved. Let's go back to here, refresh. Didn't work. Fantastic. Ah, oh, it's not source. href. My bad. It's been a while since I've actually had to make to type that up. There we go. Awesome. So now I've got that. The cool thing with that is that now if I wanted to make another page, I can just copy this. In fact, well, I'll do that right now. So in here, I'm going to make a new HTML page. We'll call this page one. Okay. So if I go into my index here, and basically copy, oh, let's just take everything between the 
two hay signals. So control C that. Paste that there. Okay, now we've got to look at a navigation. I've got to go back a little, so dot dot slash to get to there. Okay, so let's save that. Control S. And if I go to here, and for a case of the go pages, slash page one dot page no. Excellent, looks the exact same. Kind of useful, not overly. So, we need to put in something that lets us know. So, on here, we're going to put in this is page one. Control S. Go back to index. It's the index page. Okay. Control S. Now, navigation. Okay. Now, make page two and page three. I'll just go file, save as page two. There we go. File, save as page three. HTML. Notice the difference? We didn't put the HTML in straight away from it, so I've got to refactor it again. I'll rename this one to page2.html. Excellent. Okay, so let's close that one. Let's close that one. Right, so I've got page2, page1, two, page, page one, 2, and 3. So I'm counting on page2. Let's change that to there. Page3, let's change that to there. Okay, so they're all linked up because of this to get access to that same um, style sheet. So let's just save these guys for a second. Now, let's get back to the index page. First thing I'm going to do is put in my navigation. So I'm going to enter that up. And I'm going to a href equals. So from here, I'm going to go to the pages and actually, no, just do one to itself. So the index.html. And on here, we'll just say home page. Okay. There we go, href equals. Inside the pages folder, it's page one. HTML. So we'll call this page one. Slash A. And href equals pages slash page two. HTML. Page two. And href equals pages. Three. Okay, so I've saved that. Jump back over here. Refresh. I'm not on the right page. So I've got to take it back to index of HTML. There you go. One, two, three, four links. Awesome. So, to make life easy, just copy that. Okay? So, Control C, go to the first page, replace that nav, boink. Okay, refix up the tab so you can see where everything is. Now, this is not going to work, okay, because we put this on page one, okay, index is not in the same directory as pages, so it means we've got to go back a level, like we did up here with the CSS, we've got to go back a level, so we go dot dot slash, go back one level, then look for it. And because pages one, two, and three are all in the same area, we'll save it like that. Okay, so now if I save this, so I control S, and go back here. Alright, so if I go to home page, page one, I've got links. I guess we go back to the home page, you can tell by up the top corner. Pages one, page one keeps me there, page two. Excellent, not a problem. Okay, so this works. So now we take the working copy, copy it, and then we put it on to the other pages. So it's page two, and that's page three. Okay, so we save them, and we now have our pages up and running. So let's just have a quick look here. As you can see, if I go back to the home page, that's not really spaced out so well. So what we're going to do. So we're going to just change a little bit. We're going to go A. Actually, I'm going to go A. Change the color to white. And we'll change the font size to say 20 pixels. And then we're going to put a margin on the left hand side of 50 pixels. 
Okay, so I'll modify that on the style sheet. Cool. So come back here, refresh this. White might not be so good on that green, so let's change it from white to something else. Color. Um, let's go black. We need to sort of look like black. Save that. Refresh. Okay, so now you can see them on here. And notice how it's automatically spaced out and bigger. That's a good thing. Okay, so of course now I'll just jump through page one, through to page three, and back to home page. And all the links look the same because I've modified this one file here, right, this bit right here, which all these pages are linked to. That's where it gets its style from. So let's go to index page. Um, and now we'll put some images in. Okay, so I'll just jump into Bing, go to images, um, let's see, what will I grab? I will grab Justice League Jimbly. You can, so that's a good picture. Okay, we're patient for it to load up. Right, so take a look down here, it's a pretty big picture. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and throw it quickly into Photoshop. Okay, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use something like GIMP or uh, even if it's paint would work. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's jump back in my code. I'm quick with my style sheet. So, what I'm going to do is on my slide, it's 1000 by 150. So, back here, I'm going to file, new image, 1000 by 150. Then, I'm going to grab, let's go for the job of hands here, so I'll take that. Yep, okay, so control C that. Paste it here, control T to transform it, shrink it down. So it fits me better. Just drag that out to here. Excellent, we go file, save as oh, apply. Thank you. Now I've got to go back into my libraries, into my documents. Pins projects, web page, I've got uh, HTML into my images. I don't want it PST, I'll take this JPEG, thank you. And we'll just call that now slider JPEG. Okay, 110k, yeah, that works, that's perfectly fine. So, now that I figured out that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, right, so if I look here in my images, one slider. Okay, so here I'm going to go image, source, equals, right, so I'm on my index, so I'm going to go into the images folder, slider.jpg, I've got to give it an alt, okay, justice, justice league, um, because I've manually made it the right size, I don't have to apply a class to change it, so we'll just put that in there, okay, so now let's save that, Let's go back to here, refresh the index page, and now we've got that popping up. Okay, so that's good. Now, I wanted to put, let me go back to my paint image, right, so I'll drag it back here. So I'm going to put um, an image here and some text there, okay? So, let's go back to here. Actually, let's put out something to head up. We'll go Justice, Justice League. But we're going to want it pretty big, okay? So to do that, we're going to modify the style, which is on the header, okay? We're going to change the font family to Arial. Show me the text by Arial. We're going to change the font size to, let's say, uh, 30 pixels, okay? And we're going to have text online. Set. Okay, 
So let's save that perfect index, save that jump over here, refresh, just right there. So 32 is not too bad, but I've still got plenty of 30. So let's change it up to, hmm, let's try 40. Okay, so I'm changing one spot, refreshing, that's better. Okay, so now you can see it. Now I want, choose your Ipsum. Um, just gotta wait for it. Excellent, there was a Batman, there we go. Still the Batman stuff. This is just random text. Let's just take this lot, okay, I click copy that, into here, I'm going to put this right here on my index, I'm going to put this all in my right hand box, so I'm just going to paste, now as you can see it doesn't, doesn't stylize or anything at all like that, it's perfectly fine, that's quite normal, but I do want to paragraph my stuff, so I'm going to put it in um, slash p's. Don't put a P on the very first one because it confuses the way it works. Okay. So let's just jump down here with this. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the first one in. And then once I've got the first one in, what I will do is I'll actually put the end in. So if you look at the end, I need to close it off. So to do that, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Just to speed things up. Okay, so we'll save that, jump back to here, and then the next page refresh. There's my text in there now. Okay, notice how it's all super flush up against here. Probably not what I really want. So this is all inside my D-Write, so if I jump in my style sheet, find my D-Write, okay, I'm going to put um, padding on the left of 10 pixels, and I'm going to put padding on the right of 10 pixels. Now, because I've put padding on there, I need to actually drop my width here by 20 pixels, so I add a 10 to the left, 10 to the right, change this way to 680 pixels, okay, it's all about the mass. Jump back, refresh. There we go. So now I've got spacing and defined spacing. Awesome. So what I'll do here is we'll just put in our small picture. Um, let's see what we will take. Let's take this one here, Superman. Okay, so Control C, Control N, Control V. File, save as for web. Take that, save. Okay. Libraries, documents, scroll down, NetBeats projects, go page now, public images, Superman, save, excellent, back to the code, take a look at the images, now we have Superman, back to index, so we're going to put that inside this guy here, image source equals images slash superman.jpg. Okay, Alt equals Superman. I don't know if we need to change the class or anything, the size, so I'll just do it like that. Because this is in HTML5, that's what that means, okay, and not HTML4 uh, transitional, I can get away with not closing that off. So it's your call on how you want to do it, but if you're not doing it, make sure it's HTML5. Okay, let's go back to the index page and we'll refresh. So now I've got a Superman picture, I've got text, I've got links that work. And there you go. Okay. So as you can see, there's a little bit more mucking around in NetBeans, but it's a perfectly good IDE to be building web pages. Okay. And I'm done. Hope that helped.